Hey you guys, it's Cami with Coast DIY Bar and I am late tonight, sorry about that. Um, I will be doing a little bit of a craft tonight and then I'm gonna take you guys on a tour and you'll kind of see why I'm late. We've been rearranging the shop a little bit and well, I didn't wanna do a live and have it be all a complete mess and so I thought I would do that. So once you get on, um, just let me know and say hey. And I'm gonna show you a project that's coming. It's not out there yet, but I can't take a picture of a sample until I make a sample. So I thought I would do that live with you tonight. Um, we're gonna do just a little mini sign because those are super fun and affordable. And here's the concept. Just a little mini three and a half inch square. We're gonna do a little honey stencil and then a 3DB. Oh, hey, Linda. Oh, hey, Barbara Joy. Barbara Joy, wait till I do the tour of the shop. You're gonna be so proud of me. Oh, you're just gonna be so proud. Hey, okay. So the kit that we're gonna do, that I'm gonna do, it's not ready yet, but we're gonna do two colors. It's gonna be a full kit, because we like those. And one of them is gonna be this, um, well, I'm gonna show you the big bottle, because I think it's easier and I won't tip it out. It's like a buttermilk color and it's milk paint, which is strange, but I got it on a deal and I like it because it's a little bit thinner. And then just black, so nothing fancy. And so I thought what I'd do, here's my thought. Um, I think I'm gonna do the background. Um, hey, Tracy. Uh, oh, Barbara Joy. Uh, I'm gonna do the background in the buttermilk and I'm gonna do the stencil in black and I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about what we've been doing. And then once I've finished doing the basics of this, uh, I'm gonna take you on a little tour. So you guys can see literally, uh, if you've been in, if you haven't been in before, you won't know how different it looks. But if you've been in before, you're gonna be like, what did they do? All right, so we're gonna start with our buttermilk. And it, you know, these little paint pots, they. They seem small and it's a little hard to get in there and get the paint sometimes, but I'm gonna tell you what, they really hold enough to go much further than you can imagine. And I like dipping in with just a sponge. I think it's easier that way. Oh, hey, Carrie. Oh, Carrie, Carrie and I had a good conversation the other night about lasers and fun things like that. So milk paint, I'm not the biggest expert on milk paint, so I'm not gonna act like I am. Like I said, I picked this up on a clearance deal and I just kind of like it. And I stopped putting white paper down because I learned that the um, our lights in here are fluorescent and that and white paper is not good. All right, I'm gonna go, what I wanna do with this is just go super light because I like our wood that we have that has the gray tones in it. It naturally makes it look aged without having to do any real work. I am gonna go with the grain though because I don't want it to look messy. This is, it's, it's a little thicker than I was expecting it to come out, but just super cute. And then we've got the stencil, so that means I have to dry this, you guys. So hang on just a second. Let me do that real quick. You see my, I changed the table first off. So I've got the brick in the background. I haven't really decorated behind me yet, but I will. I've got to get this good and dry because we're going to put this stencil onto the my favorite question when people were in the workshop that made me laugh was they would have on gloves and they would be like how do I know it's wet you can't you have to take your gloves off okay that's still the reason I know it's uh, still a little bit is it's uh, tacky just a little bit Dry it up 
just a little bit more. If you're just joining and I'm blow drying, that's kind of boring, but it's all right. Okay, I think that's going to be good. I'm gonna let that. I'm gonna let that cool off just a little bit. And I'm gonna do, I've got a little 3DB. So I want him to be painted with a little bit of black. So I'm just gonna dip in. And your kit's gonna have the uh, buttermilk color milk paint and this black. And notice I'm just sponging. You can wipe it on. You really can do any method to get it on the bee. I'm just gonna do a solid bee. Um, I'm kind of going for more of a logo appearance than a detailed bee because I don't think I could paint a detailed bee. But see, that's going to be cute on there, right? It'll stand right out. Okay. Now I'm going to take these off and because I don't know that I can actually uh, apply. Oh, hang on. I blew off my paper. Okay. So we're gonna apply a stencil that just says honey, something super cute. And then I'm going to do that with contact paper. You can use any kind of transfer tape that you've got. You can even use um, paint tape. Two little pieces of paint tape would totally cover the stencil. But paint tape is hard to send in a kit, so we'll send you this. And all you're going to do, you're going to have a popsicle stick, but I don't have it near me. So I'm just going to use our squeegee that we have in the shop. You just rub it down. And then all you're going to do is peel this back. And when it, when it doesn't come off, oh, hey, Cheryl from Central Missouri. We are getting out there, you guys. Love it. Oh, so see how it's leaving things on the paper? I want to just go back, and if I just push a little bit, it should come off. So just keep your eyes. If you, you could also, if it happens a lot, just go back and rub it again. But this is so small, it's kind of easy to manipulate. And I'm going to just put it right in the middle. I'm going to eye it. The design that you're going to get, uh, oh, thanks, Christy, is going to be... Oh, <laughs> yes, you can like do two screens, Christy. Put zoom in the, the other one and then stick us on the side. Um, the, the design is centered in the black square on this one. So you really can just focus on centering the square. And I'm just gonna lay it down. I'm not gonna push it down yet because I wanna make sure my B fits and my B fits just fine. So I like where it's at gonna rub it down when you're using these stencils like this never blow dry it with the stencil on because it's gonna uh, make a mess all right I am gonna use a little tape at home you can do what I'm doing with this you can I want gonna put a little border around my stencil so I don't mess up just use a pair of scissors and cut up your contact paper. I won't be sending tape with this kit, but Barbara Joy's not here and I don't have any scissors. I do have tape though, so I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna stencil real fast. Yeah. And I'm marking off, even though I'm a pretty good stenciler, I gotta tell you, just as soon as you think you're really good, you'll make a mistake. So with my stenciling, I'm just taking the backing from the contact paper. I'm gonna use that as my method to squish in all my paint. If you've seen me stencil, this isn't really a full on stencil class. So just make sure you don't have a lot of paint and make sure you just dab super lightly. I'll even show you how light I'm going on the first coat. I would rather have to do like five or six thin coats than one big blobby coat because it's gonna make a mess. I'll go back in and go a little bit more. 
And I might even go with a super light effect on this one just to kind of make it look a little aged. So this is like two coats. See how it's still kind of super light? Um, I haven't priced the kit out yet and it will be in the store tonight, in the online store tonight, uh, and also here for pickup tomorrow. And then we've got a couple of new things that I'll show you as I walk around after I do this. But again, those some of them are halfway in the system, but there's like a, I don't know, it feels like a 20 step process to get it out there for you. And we're part the way through. Okay, I'm not gonna go fully um, covered. I'm gonna go a little more rustic on this. I think I did like two, two and a half coats. And then I'm just gonna peel this up. Now at home, you can just use your fingernail, but, and I, I've done that on our lives, but for speed, because I wanna get to doing the tour, uh, I am gonna use, this is a dental pick. Uh, if you have a Cricut at home or a Silhouette, some kind of cutter machine, you'll probably have something you can use. If you don't, your fingernail's fine or even a uh, toothpick. Just be careful. And all you're gonna do, you're gonna peel these up while it's wet, if you can. I didn't use a lot of paint, so it's almost dry already, which is fine. Super cute, right? And then the B. This was an easy, fast one. I have vinyl stuck all over me. The bee is still a little wet, but it just, how cute is that? If you've got like a tiered tray or a, um, like in your office at home, this would be super cute, right? Simple, little, you get a little 3D effect and you get the bee. So we're gonna have these out. I'll do a formal post. I'll glue this together, take a nice photo that I can put on the page so that you know it's coming. But I am gonna pull the phone down and I'm gonna take you guys on a tour. And if I mess up, I, the battery is full though, guys. I, I'm prepared. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the front door and if you know, oh, I am in your face, sorry about that. If you know the shop, I'm gonna turn this around and then you're gonna see how much we've changed, okay? So you can see the door behind me, parking lot. Uh, apparently I'm really tan right now. So I'm gonna turn it around. Barbara Joy, pay attention. Okay, so we did not move the DIY bar. This is still here and will still be available. But the whole reason for me showing you is we are, in the final stages of getting ready to do some in-shop workshops, but we wanted to keep doing the takeouts because we did an opinion poll and most of you wanted us to keep doing the takeouts. So what we've done is this used to be behind our project bar. So if you remember, our project bar was kind of like right here, right? So we've turned that so that it's more like a retail space. And all of these little boxes that we used to have your projects in are now holding kits. So we've got our little 4th of July fireworks kit up there. We've got our pegboards up here. We have our little zoo bucket with the zoo beside it now. If you came in before, you couldn't really see what was in the bucket if you didn't know. Um, we've got all our potheads. We have our candles out. We've got a few left of our candles and then our fun, super beachy smelling soaps. So those you now, we do have a few of our four in a row left, you guys, right? We've got our torches, so those are still here. But now we've got right here, we've got our coastal garland that's ready to go for takeout. That is a coming soon right there. Bum, ba -dum, bum. I didn't realize it was hanging there, but now, oh, there's my purse. You guys, do you know how long that I was looking for my purse today? <laughs> Holy mackerel. Okay, putting it where I can see it. Okay, so then over here, what we've got is we have your dad sign and the beach life signs, easy to access.
But then we've also got all of these things. So before what this thing held was all of our hanging materials and that sort of thing. And, and we want to make it so that you can grab and go, but you're not digging through something, which is what this used to be, like bottle caps and different cute things like that. And, you know, in this new world, we don't want everybody touching everything. So then I'm going to back up. I'm backing up. Ignore that back table. That's our um, get it together space. So now we've moved our little spool over here. And you guys know this used to be the greenery bar. And now it holds goodies. So we've got all kinds of stuff on here. These are things you've seen. Nothing new until we get to where, wherever my Hampton people are. We got some cute little crab signs we're getting ready to put out there. So those turned out super cute. And then so everything's up here and easy to get to. Right? Oh, there's Mr. Fox. The panda's like a winner. Sorry. So super simple. We got a few of our rainbows left. Love the rainbows. Okay. Right. It looks good, Christy, right? We're, we're, we're getting it. Christy was in here the other day with me and it was a hot mess express. So we are getting there. So this used to be the greenery bar. Oh, hey, Susie. I'll go back and show you the sign that I made earlier. And now I'm doing a quick tour of the shop because we are getting ready whew, to hopefully have some inside things happening. Okay, so what we did for the greenery bar is I had to find a place for this table because it was too much table. So the table now has become the greenery bar with the top half little spool. So this is just here, it's pretty. The flowers of course are for sale, but it also helped us get rid of that table that's on the bottom. So then we've got just a couple of things here for retail. And then these two tables here in the middle, hey, Sharon, these two tables in the middle have retail on them right now, but when we're ready to open up and do private parties and different things can quickly become a private little table, right? All by itself. So we can sit eight at this center table if we pull them apart and there's plenty of room. So lots of room in between here and the project bar. In the back there, that's kind of our, oh my God, I know Barbara Joy. Okay, so in the back is our four tables shoved together. And that's just our, I, you know, if you know, this was, this is like a thousand times cleaner than it was yesterday, but it still looks crazy. So we'll get better organized. Uh, I'll be doing my lives from there. That's where I was just sitting. Oh, and... Susie, I'll come over real quick and show you. This is the little B sign I just made. So cute. Oops. It's not ready, but it'll be out there tonight. Okay. So then over here is going to be our new paint pouring station. Right? So if you come in and do takeouts, uh, this is where you'll pick it up. It used to be near the front. And now it's back here. Of course, I had to have my coffee bar. We still do coffee. These haven't moved, right? So they're still there. We've got this little spinny thing. It is a million times cleaner. Thanks for noticing, Christy. But wait, wait. Okay, look, Excuse, and I'll, sh I'll give you a little sneak peek on the project that's on the, you guys, this is where all the takeout was and now we're ready to have workshops in here. Oh my God, it's so clean. And if you saw before how many takeouts were in here, you can understand that this has been like three days. So what we can do in here, this table's obviously fit 16. We're still waiting to see what the guidance is for phase two. Um, I think we're gonna follow a lot like the restaurants. So right now you guys know they're all outside. They're not inside. Um, oh, the sunflower's pretty, yeah. Oh, the sunflower sign, yeah. That's one of our... Um, outdoor uh, fireplace projects. Um, so in this room, if we split these tables apart, we can do t parties of six that are six feet apart 
and you're kind of separated from the retail space that's out there because we've got this little wall right here and you'll be right by the bathrooms. So we're thinking this is probably our best layout right now and to still be able to do the takeouts. Um, just a little sneak peek, little Lily Pulitzer looking paw print. That's a coming, you guys. Gotta make the sample. It's still super, super wet. I just did it a couple of hours ago. It is a puppy paw pour, yes! And it's gonna go on a 12 by 12. I did a black one because I thought it would make these colors pop. So that's coming. That won't be tonight though. That's get it all organized. But this will be a space that we can do some privates and then that table right in the center there if we need to we can break it down real fast and turn that into a space that you can actually uh, do a private party as well so i wanted to show you like like i said if you've been in here before this looks totally different oh yeah she was looking at this sign so this is one of our regulars in our regular thing super cute barbara joy made that all right, so then everything is here. Everything's easily accessible. It's shocking. I'm still shocked at how much space there, there is. Uh, uh, you know, we, we didn't really get rid of anything. We just kind of moved it around a little bit. So we're going to leave the greenery bar because when we do workshops, we may want to access that, but we got to figure out how to not touch everything. And then the retail's still here. So I do think that this... With the help of Barbara Joy the other day, we definitely kind of figured out where everything is gonna go. Yeah. And we still can make all of our stuff in the back there. Still have a place to do our lives because that's fun like this. And then you've got a nice place for checkout. Got our hand sanitizer. We've got our little square credit card thing so that we don't have to be too close to each other. Not that we don't want to be but you know and then of course we're gonna put a bunch of things right here that we want you to buy <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do so I'm just excited I gotta tell you I've been really stressed out about how we were gonna fit people in here and still do all this takeout work that we're doing because we make all the kits mostly so it's a lot of work to put them together so I think this is it I think it gives us three tables that we can do six people at a table Probably won't go that big in the beginning, uh, but it does give us the capacity. So we're excited about it. It's crazy. Oh, I'll, I'll walk around this table too. A lot of people like because tomorrow's a tomorrow's an open day. We're open twelve to twelve to five Ooh, tomorrow. Uh, so it's a good day. Hey, Lauren, Lauren, you just missed the tour. You got to go back. I'll, the whole shop looks different. Okay, so we've got flowers little trees uh, we still have our gnomes little welcome these are two dollar welcomes uh, we've got one more of our sail away maybe we should put that up so you can actually see it ow okay it is a little tight right here <laughs> but that's okay so we've got our jellyfish we've got more of our fireworks i think they're going to probably end up all over here and then our puppy paws, crabs, is something I'm working on down here, and our home stuff. And then we've got, I put the paints that we have left here. These are our 60 cent paints. Um, I still think there's a Mardi Gras theme going on with what we have left, but I did, I'm getting ready to put another order in. Yeah, it's, uh, look at that, how great, look Lauren. Lauren's one of our DIY baristas. Oh, yes, we got you. Oh, here's the thing. If you have pickups, look, every all of the pickup orders are on this shelf behind the bar. So you'll have to come up and ask us because one of the things we're not doing really well is marking when you pick them up. So this will help us control that a little bit as well. So these are all here and ready to go for tomorrow. So just come in and you'll ask us at the bar. But I think we're looking okay, you guys. So I'm not ready to announce when we're going to start taking uh, 
inside workshops. Girl, I know Lauren, isn't it? Despite, except for the back, I mean, you gotta give us, it is a creative space, so you kinda have to give us a break. But I do think, you know what's funny? Wait, I do, I do have to show you this. Like, look at the floor over there. Look at all the paint and dirt and whatever on the floor. We moved the project bar. Look how clean it is right here <laughs> when you first walk in. It's like we're not even a shop. It's like it looked like when we first painted it. So funny. All right, you guys. Well, I'm not going to keep you on forever, but yeah, let me back up for Lauren so she can see that. This is, a, this is the door view. So we've got the bar. Got some retail. Got our little retail checkout spot. Lots of retail. That table can easily be converted into a workshop table. And then we've got our greenery bar. We've got retail. And then around here, we're gonna have this open for workshops. So yeah, it's definitely, but I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna walk in learning, you're gonna be like, how did we get all this space in here? Part of it has to do with we shoved all those tables in the back together. I mean, that's part of it, but it's crazy. All right, you guys, look, I'm gonna come back over here one more time. I'm gonna show the little baby B sign that's gonna come out tonight. Um, oh, this is a sneak preview. Sneak preview. Boop, boop, boop. That's a coming. So stay tuned. That's a big one. That's going to come. And if you haven't, you guys, we have uh, 45 people signed up for the virtual workshop to make this beautiful door hanger. If you're not in there, you need to get in there. Uh, let's get over 50. That would be so awesome. All right. And then last tiny little look at the little bee. All right, you guys. Oh, let me give you this view. Look, and it's even clean under the bar. That will never happen again. So let's take a take a good look. <laughs> All right, you guys, that was it. Thanks for letting me show you. I wanted you to see that we are working towards having you guys in for some workshops. It's um, I'm waiting to hear about the phase two information. It's probably going to be a phase two thing for us and uh, it's going to look different, but we're going to put together all the information you need so it's easy. All right, you guys, thanks for watching and everybody have an amazing rest of the weekend. We're here tomorrow, 12 to 5. I'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody. Thanks, Carrie.